Hi everyone, it is Chrissy Evie, and with the forthcoming Christmas season approaching, I have decided that it was time to go through Eliza's toys and get rid of the ones that she doesn't really play with and keep the ones that obviously she does play with. So I decided that the stuffed animals would be the ones to be attacked today. Now she has acquired a, quite a number of stuffed things since she was born and she doesn't really play with like half of them. So I figured because she doesn't and Christmas is coming soon, we would go through the stuffed animals and try to figure out the ones that we should keep and the ones that we should get rid of. All right, sweetie pie, we have to go through these today because we need to get rid of some. That's <laughs> too many stuffed things. They were all in that crib right there. But she is now sleeping over there in the bed. So this has to be disassembled and this needs to be minimized. We're not disassembling this today. Minimize though. Minimize. I mean after you have to climb it. Minimize. Are you gonna jump in them now? No, I mean are you gonna jump in them? Me? Yeah, you. Whee! Oh, this is time. Eliza. Huh? We have to get rid of some of your stuffed things, okay? Okay. That means you have to pick which ones you want to keep and which ones you want to give away, okay? Okay. All right, are you focusing? I don't feel like you're focusing. I didn't think I would have a problem trying to get rid of some of these stuffed things until I started taking them out of her crib. And then I realized that I liked some of them. <laughs> some of them are mine and some of them are hers, but we Mommy, really need to minimize this Mommy. amount of... Mommy, look he's doing. I just stole that. Okay. All right, so far these guys have made the cut. Kitty has made the cut. Can you put Kitty over here? This is the pile we're keeping. Mommy, right here. Okay. Which one do you want to keep? You gotta show me. I like Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Minnie, 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 Minnie. What about Kitty? You like Kitty too, right? Yes, I like Kitty too. I like Kitty too. Okay, so can you show me which else ones you want to keep? I like that kitty. So far we got this pile to keep, which is hopefully going to stay small like that, and the rest of these to still go through. Do you like your keep pile so far? Mm-hmm. I like my keep piles. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> this is the, um, the giveaway pile. You want to keep Thomas? Yes. Okay, so apparently the keep pile has grown, <laughs> and I guess I'm just going to have to deal with that. Keep! Uh -huh. Okay, so um, I guess this was kind of nice to do on camera. So yeah, there you have it. We sorted and separated the stuffed things to keep from the stuffed things not to keep. And Eliza is happy, right? Yeah! Great. She's happy. And it looks like um, there's still a lot. <laughs> but it is actually a noticeable difference. Don't forget the fairy pair. You should to me today. When we get around in the evening, don't forget the fairy pair. Don't forget the me pair. You should me today. Let me get around in the evening. Don't forget the fairy pair. <laughs> Don't forget the fairy pair. All right, so, um, can uh, we say have a great day? Say have a great day. Have a great day. Toodles. Toodles. Now what Eliza and I did is not nearly as serious as God's selection process. Yes, he has a selection process. The giveaway stuffed animals will most likely find a new home somewhere else in somebody else's home. They will most likely be loved by someone else. But in God's selection process, the ones that don't stay in the keep pile get destroyed in endless breakdown where there is no love that exists. 
There is no love, no life, fire, screaming, pain, torture, agony forever and ever. Here's a thought for you. People who died without Christ over 2,000 years ago are still in hell being tortured and tormented right now. That is a long time. And the sad thing is those same people along with the ones that live today and will die tomorrow who do not know the Lord will one day be taken up from hell and thrown into the lake of fire where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth to burn separated from God forever and ever and ever and ever. The Bible says when the son of man comes in his glory and all the angels with him he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on the right and the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right, come you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you before the creation of the world. Then he will say to those on his left, depart from me you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Then they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Matthew 25, 31 to 33, 41 and 46. How can you avoid this, you might ask? It's actually very simple. All you have to do is trust in Jesus' love for you, ask him to forgive you, and then live your life loving him back, doing the things that you know make him happy. And if you don't know what makes him happy, it's easy. All you have to do is read the Bible. You can start in the New Testament so that you can escape this terrible separation from God. Don't you want to be a sheep? If you don't know Jesus today, is the time to listen and obey. To listen to him say, come to me. And to obey and say, okay, I'm coming. So there you have it. If you liked this video, thumbs up, please. If you have a comment, please make it thank you if you want to subscribe I welcome you I love community I also have a blog site called for your creative soul that is geared towards the Christian creative as they pursue God while in ministry if you would be interested in encouragement and food for thought you will find it there on that site it is for your creative that is it for now until next time have a great day toodles <laughs>